Hello class, as we know, whole numbers are the numbers that start at zero and continue up to infinity. Whole numbers have some special properties. Let's understand the closure properties of whole numbers. If you add whole numbers 2 and 3, we get 5, which is also a whole number. Hence, the addition of any two whole numbers is a whole number. This is called the closure property of addition. Multiplication of 2 and 3 is 6, which is a whole number. Therefore, the multiplication of any two whole numbers is a whole number. This is called the closure property of multiplication. Subtraction of whole numbers, sometimes, results in a whole number. For example, if you take away 2 from 3, you will get 1, which is a whole number. Can you take away 3 balls from 2 balls? It's not possible practically but in mathematics, we represent it with minus 1, which is not a whole number. Hence, subtraction does not always give you a whole number. That means whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. What will happen, if you divide 5 into 5 equal parts? The answer is 1, which is a whole number. How about, dividing a ball into two equal parts? Is it a whole number? No, it's not a whole number. Therefore, the division of whole numbers does not always give the whole number. We can say that, whole numbers are not closed under division. To summarize, the whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication but not under subtraction and division.